Yer. Now in this video we got another video request. We got a GT team, but it's not just a GT team, it's a maximum health GT team. So basically all the Z abilities on the bench it's just based on health. So we've got Raditz, we've got Shallot, and we've got the GT EX Goku. Them three people, they're all Saiyans and they all buff health for Saiyans basically. But I think um, GZ Goku is obviously for GT, so even Baby gets the buff. And the three I'm going to be using, like by the comment, the person who left the comment, Light Uchiha, mixture of Light Yagami and Uchiha, they said to use Goku, Vegeta, both of them the Super Saiyan 4 ones, and Super Baby 2, obviously, because they're all GT. So it's a maximum health GT team, like I said. I felt like I've said that so many times. But yeah, this should be a good video. I'm saying that as if I don't know what's coming. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. But I enjoyed making this video. <laughs> I'm actually not alright. I enjoyed making this video. It was actually a fun video. It was kind of like the one when I used the, um, the fusion team. And I actually made the maximum health fusion team. That one was actually very fun to do. Because the battle just longs out. So it's just a lot of PvP going on. But the fact that I have lots of health, rising rushes don't necessarily kill me unless I'm just not at full health. So I should be alright for every rising rush. That's what I was expecting. That's what I was happy about. And more time, the game would just probably get low in terms of um, the time account. So it'll definitely get below 60 each time just based on the amount of health I've got. That was the, probably the only jarring thing. I don't like long games. You know, I'm the type to. Um, straight attack even though I play I, I arguably play defensive even though I like fast games which doesn't make sense like I don't really send off key blast because I don't like losing my key and my card I usually just wait for the um, the enemy to send their key blast and then we'll play the the prediction game I'm gonna wait and try to bait out your um, vanish step that's my type of play style instead of trying to like get you to vanish step and then we do that type of game I'd rather lose mine and switch out the same way I play with computers but um let's talk about who who's who's the best on this team now it's basically just the GT team all over again we all know that Super Baby 2 has been carrying the meta in terms of regeneration team and the GT team the GT team came by storm with Super Saiyan 4 and Goku and Vegeta and Baby they just came all at once Super Baby 2 has been in the top um, sparking views for a long time. Like number one, number two, top five all the time. Like since he came out pretty much. And for that you gotta respect it. But you know it my guy Goku. My guy Goku. Yeah, yeah, he's 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 my favourite on this team. If there's anyone I don't wanna lose, it's him. Even Actually, let me not lie. If I got type disadvantage, like the yellow Gohan there, and I need Goku gone, Goku can go. But more time, I'm not losing Goku. I think I'd rather sacrifice Super Baby 2 because he outputs the least damage. As, lost, as long as I've got his main ability off, I'll be alright. That's how I feel about it. Vegeta here, he's not even... Even though I'd put him third... Let me not say third best. Let me not say third worst. I want to be optimistic. Even though I put him third best, it's not even by like a big gap because the damage he was doing on this team and his um, ultimate move that produces the faint like there's nothing wrong with him at all like I'm not gonna say anything negative about him I can just say things that um, things that could make him better that's the only um, difference that I had with between Vegeta and Goku Super Baby 2 doing his own thing he's mainly on the region team but obviously in this video I've got him on the GT team but um, this team overall, I definitely recommend using it. I don't necessarily think it's an ideal team if you're just trying to grab like rank 50 straight up. 
because um, you're going to be facing a lot of long games and I don't feel like long games is what you want especially the way this um, PvP season has been going this ultimate battle thing I've just been facing bots a lot of people DCing and the fact that everyone's stats is equal you can't tell who's good and who's bad rip Vegeta here his health got taken out you think Goku's gonna clutch it? Mm, leave a comment. Goku's the GOAT, just so you know. But leave a comment. But yeah, um, the way just this ultimate battle with things been going, PvP in general, Dragon Ball Legends as an app, people have been facing lots of app crashes. So I don't feel this team is very ideal for you to actually try to grab these fast wins just so you can rank up. But if you're definitely trying to have some fun or you're just trying to like see how much damage you can take by all means use it because having over 3 mil um, damage I mean 3 mil health for your health bar is actually very annoying to deal with like just seeing it on your enemy you could rise and rush them at full health they'll probably still be left with a mil if you're unlucky maybe uh, like 500k on average or if you've got type advantage you'd probably definitely die let me just put that out there but I definitely enjoyed using this team as a whole. I would, I should have probably actually played with um, EXGT Goku. He's not that good, and I'm not switching him out for Super Saiyan 4 Goku realistically. But it's a video request, so we're doing what um, Light Uchiha needed. These three on the attacking in the in the front lines of the battlefield. The other three, they're just the bench, the support units there for their Z ability, buffing all that health. Raditz and Shallot obviously just buff Saiyans in general and I think just to repeat EXGT Goku he buffs Saiyans I mean not Saiyans <sighs> GT units I was probably trying to make the difference I was trying to differentiate between GT Goku the EX1 and Shallot and Raditz and then I made a mistake I, something's wrong with me today but hopefully you guys are having a good day I don't think I've ever asked you guys if you've had a good day during a video I probably just stick to the script like I don't usually script my videos on very rare occasion I would script my videos I just tend to go with the flow everything comes off the dome speak smooth as I can it's a more relaxing environment I feel like listening to someone speak very um, formally is kind of less inviting so I feel like you guys actually like me just speaking off the dome whatever comes to my head I'm on it Obviously, I do have a basis of what I'm speaking on because just like for this example, this is a video request. So obviously, I'm going to speak on GT Goku, Super Saiyan 4, um, Goku, Vegeta, da -da -da -da. I'm not going to go off and speak about um, Margin Buu. Like, that don't make no sense. But yeah, that's all I've pretty much got to say about this video. I don't really have anything else to say apart from I enjoyed using this team. I already said that, but... I'm gonna make sure that Light Uchiha knows that I enjoyed doing this video request. This is one of the very few. I don't really get a lot of video requests actually. In terms of like a PvP team to use, I'd probably get more questions and stuff and I'd decide to do it. But I don't get a lot of PvP requests, so if you tend to leave one, I'll probably get to it. I just hit battle for rank 50 actually, the time I'm editing this video, so it'll be more so I'll be playing for fun now because back when you're at the lower ranks you're kind of trying to get up to 50 then when I get to 50 I can kind of mess about a bit more but yeah hopefully you guys are enjoying the video and you're going to continue to enjoy the video because there's one more game after this of me using this maximum health squad so surely you're going to enjoy it to end off the video if you haven't already press subscribe button we're on this grind to 1500 subscribers so you're definitely going to want to be there because we're going straight up. I've got, nah, we've got, because without you guys, I'm nothing. We've got 1,250, just above that, somewhere near that, because obviously it's changing all the time. So let me not say an exact number. We've got 1,250 subscribers just over that and everything's going pretty well like i appreciate all you guys that subscribed i'm not too fussed about likes but definitely leave a comment because the interactions where is that like i want to know what you guys want um 
I reply to all comments. So if you leave a comment, I'll definitely try to get to it as fast as possible. But yeah, that's all I pretty much got to say. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the video again. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Final shine! It's over. Prepare to experience so strong even I'm startled. <laughs> 